your weekly plan. Hopefully, you'll be aware that every Sunday evening you get an email from me and a post in the Facebook group asking you to touch base to select whether the previous week <clears throat> went really well, all right, or not great, and then to set a plan and intention for the coming week. And some of you do it, some do every single week and have done for hundreds of weeks in a row, some do most weeks, some do some weeks, some never even do it at all. And there is a pretty direct correlation between those that do and the, how long they stay and the results that they get. Me, the weekly um, rise plan post in the Facebook group, the success post there, and look at the names that are regularly on both of those posts. Look at the success stories that I put on the main page. Look at how long they've been coming, how much weight they've lost, how many sessions they've done. Because what happens when we set a weekly intent is we get away from this general, I know what I need to do, I just need to do it approach, which is the same approach we had before we joined Rise. And we get to the point where we set a specific intention for the coming week that takes into account the challenges, what we've got on, what we're able to do, and crystallizes in our head an actual plan. And when we're gonna do those things, what steps need to be taken to make them happen. And because we know that I will check in at the end of the week, we are to a reasonable degree at least accountable to that. And again, setting that specific plan, knowing you'll be checked in on it, doesn't automatically mean it'll happen, but from my experience, we'll do more than again, just bowling into the week, telling ourselves, I just need to do it, because on average, that goes the same way as it did before.